For the following exercise, determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right, so in order to determine whether y is a function of x, we first have to solve the equation for y. All right, we have a series of steps down here at the bottom on the left, and we're gonna follow them, and it creates a nice little outline of how to approach this question. So the first part is to solve this equation that we were given in for y, okay, or in terms of y. So let's write it down. So we've got three x squared, plus y is equal to 14. To solve this thing for y, we just have to then subtract the 3x squared from both sides. And now that simply gives us the formula of y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 14. The reason why we like to do this is because now I want to take this equation and graph it. All right. So you can do that in your calculator if you like. That's going to be step two, all right, is to graph the, uh, so graph the function. All right, if it is a function, really we should be saying graph the relation, okay? Because we don't know whether it's a function yet. So now, if I were to uh, create my graph, I realize that when x is uh, zero here, right, y will be 14. So I know that this location up here should be about uh, 14. And it also has a negative, it's a negative parabola, Right, so it's gonna look just something like this, approximately. All right, and I'll make that a little nicer. So there we go. So the graph looks something like this. Okay, so now after we draw the graph, or we identify what the graph now looks like, we are now able to conduct our vertical line test. All right, so the vertical line test says that if a vertical line does not intersect the graph more than once, then the graph is a function. So what you do is just draw a couple of vertical lines, see where it intersects the graph only once right here, right? If I were to draw it over here, only once again. So no matter where I draw it, right, the vertical line is only going to intersect the graph once. It doesn't intersect it more than once. And therefore the graph is indeed a function. So I can state definitively now that this relation that was given to us is indeed a function. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, tell your friends. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.